How's it going everybody? I hope you're doing well. Right then, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a very authentic Donner Kebab. So we've got all the spices, we've got the meat and it will be just as good as what you get from your local chippy. Trust me, you're going to love this one and it's something that you can do at home and still recreate that perfect chip shop flavour. So, what will you need? First of all, you'll need salt, dried coriander, oregano, oregano, paprika. Now you could use smoked paprika, but just plain old paprika is what's called for. Garlic granules, onion granules, cumin, some mixed herbs, pepper and some natural yogurt and that will be the base for your donna meat for the filling of course you'll need pitters white cabbage now I'm only going to use very small slivers of that as you know when they pop it into the uh, the pita bread there's not a great deal in there but even so a red onion a tomato or tomatoes but I'm not doing that many so you'll probably need about four tomatoes if it's a, a family of four or five depends on how many you're doing okay mince now I've got beef mince here now they didn't have any lamb mince so what I would have done I would have had 500 grams half a kilo of beef and half a kilo of lamb so I've got two beef there which will work just as well don't you worry but in a perfect world and let's face it at this uh, present moment in time it is far from a perfect world but there we go plod on we must and some mixed salad you know the one you get with the, the carrot and the red cabbage and the lettuce in there one of them so that's what you'll need let's get to it Right then, our donna mixture. So I've popped the mince in there, just broke it up a little bit. So next I'm going to add the yoghurt. Now I've got a dessert spoon. Now I don't need a great deal of yoghurt because I don't want it to be really um, thin, you know, stodgy. It's a nice word, isn't it? Stodgy. So all I'm going to do is put about three dessert spoons of yoghurt into that mince. There we go. Lovely. Next we're going to add a dash of salt. It's probably about two tablespoons, uh, two teaspoons of salt. Pepper and that's going to be about about one and a half teaspoons of pepper. Coriander about one teaspoon because the majority of the flavors gonna come from your um, oregano the oregano depending on how you want to say it totally up to you I don't mind your mixed herb you don't need a great deal it's about half a teaspoon in there now your main one that's going to be about two teaspoons in there Paprika, that's about one and a half teaspoons of paprika, your garlic granules, about half a teaspoon, your onion granules, half a teaspoon, and your cumin. about a teaspoon. Now's the fun bit. Mix it all up. And that is basically your mixture for the Donna meat. Now I'm going to give you a choice, are you? Yeah. There's two ways you can do this 
Is there? Yeah. Do tell us, I will. So, what I will do, I'll get some foil and I'll make, get it nice and tight and make a large cylinder, a large sausage. Now, once it's wrapped in foil, you can either put it in the oven there and then, and that's going to go in the oven at about gas mark 7, more than likely for about an hour and a half, coming up to, um, yeah, about an hour and a half, I'd say. I was going to say two hours, but I think that's a little bit too much. About an hour and a half to really get it all set in. Um, or you can freeze it. Same again, once it's in the, uh, if you wrap it up in uh, cling film and freeze it, when you take it out the, the freezer, you can get a knife and just cut slithers off of what you want. So let's say you only want to do two kebabs instead of wasting a whole mixture. That means you could actually just wrap it back up and put it in the freezer. So you're just using what you want. Or, um, as I said before, you could just put it straight in the oven and cook it straight off. If you're doing what I'm like uh, doing, uh, I'm making quite a few um, for later on. So there is a choice there. You can either freeze it, cut slithers off, uh, and pop it back in the freezer and use it as and when, or you can do what I'm doing. Now, ideally, if you really wanted to, to get all them herbs and spices meeting and greeting each other and really start to to take off you could pop it in the fr uh, the fridge for about two to three hours just to let everything come together or you could just put it straight in the oven it is totally up to you okay so next i'm going to wrap that up in foil and we'll take it from there and here we are so made a nice tight block type cylinder now when you're doing this don't be shy and what I mean by that is really compress the meat together turn it push it down slap it down turn it so you want that that cylinder all that mints and all them herbs to be quite you know nice and tight in there and then you're going to wrap it up yet again nice and tight so it keeps its shape because that is very important and I'll just rip that little piece off bring it down and fold it in just like a Christmas present and let me tell you this recipe certainly is a gift because it is gorgeous and there you go so I'm going to pop that in the oven that gas mark 7 for about an hour and a half and then we'll get back to you Excellent. Here it is, our kebab meat is out the oven. So I've taken it out of the oven and I've just let it rest for about five or six minutes and it's time to open up. Wow, wow, that smells gorgeous. Smells really good. So, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> That's hot. Ooh. Yes, indeed. Okay, pop that to one side. And what I need to do now is just cut it into small slithers of what you all recognize 
So, get a nice sharp knife and just as thin as possible. Straight down. Look at that. Oh yes indeed, and that smells absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to carry on cutting this up, nice thin slithers, and then we'll get into uh, actually putting the kebab together. Wow. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, so here we go. So I've got the mixed salad there, the tomatoes, onions, uh, the sliced uh, white cabbage, along with the uh, the bag of salad. I've got my pita bread, which I've sliced straight down the middle there. A little tip with the, the pita bread, if you pop it in the microwave for about 10 seconds, it'll soften it up and it'll make it easier to cut. And of course, the kebab meat. So. Let's put this together. Quick and easy. Let's get some of that kebab meat on there. You will absolutely love this recipe, ladies and gents, because it tastes exactly the same as what you would get in your chip shop. Look at that, wow. Now, I like a bit of mayo and I like a bit of chili sauce. There we go. And there you have it. The Donny Kebab. Very nice. So, if you've liked this video, give me a thumbs up. Even better, click subscribe, it would mean the world to me. And I'll catch you on the next video. So, num 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 num. Catch you later, everyone.